huge one, obviously. If you don't know what an MMO is, it is a, it stands for Mass Media Online Role Playing Game, MMO RPG. Is your mind blown yet? It certainly is. Welcome back everybody, today we're going to be taking our weekly visit to the Builder Bell End workshop to see what the guys over at Earth 2 are up to. So, start off, a small channel got DMCA striked by Earth 2 Meta. Now, I looked into this and this is completely fair use. They're just striking down videos now that criticise Earth 2, which to me is absolutely absurd. Like, why go for the little channels? And this particularly annoys me because in you know, two months ago, I was in this exact position. I could have had this happen to me and I could have done nothing about it because I wouldn't have known anyone. My first video, I'd got about 30 something subscribers. There was no way for me to contact anyone and get this out there. So this annoys me, especially when you, you're striking someone down, not because of anything that they've done personally to you, but just because they've gone through and pointed out what you did wrong. Uh, Earth 2 Meta, if you're watching this, I suggest you, you really think before doing this again. Like, abusing the DMCA system isn't going to get you far. As soon as people start calling you out on it, that's pretty much the end of it for your channel. So this is the Earth 2 Meta video in question, the future of Earth2.io. This video is flawed in almost every aspect of the word, but this isn't the important video today. The, the one we're going to look at, which is uh, the meme that was used in the intro, and it's not even a meme at this point. Like, these, these people don't even understand the topic they're talking about. Let's, let's jump to the video. Oh, this is the video in question. Earth 2 is not a scam by Earth 2 R Aria Realty. Of Earth 2 and not videos of some kid that's five months old. So if you're new to this channel and you're new viewers coming from the larger channels, let me give you some more up-to-date, accurate information from a guy who actually been with the company for six months now. Like, I don't work for the company, but I follow them very deeply and I have a portfolio of over... I'm certain that these guys don't understand that. I don't know if it's ignorance or satire or, or what. These guys are in on a pyramid scheme, whether they know it or not. Everything they do. I mean, this guy's going to explain a pyramid scheme to you in a minute while trying to explain that this isn't a pyramid scheme. $600,000 worth of tiles, and I put over. $50,000 into this game. They are pretty large channels, so I'd expect them to have more accurate information. He'd expect us to have more accurate information. Now, he's talking about bigger channels. He's obviously not on about me. I am a nobody. Actually, I'm bigger than him, so technically, yes, I'm a bigger channel. Because they have thousands and thousands of viewers and followers. But that looks like it's not the case. I've watched all their videos, and everything, most of the things they're saying are wrong or just straight inaccurate. But he can't tell us what's wrong. And this is something that I've noticed with everybody that we talk to. Nobody can correct us on the points that they're saying are wrong. If we say it's a pyramid scheme and they go, no, it's not. They then proceed to describe a pyramid scheme and then they backtrack when you point out that they've just explained a pyramid scheme. I have spent a collective of about nine hours over the last three or four days in their Discord, in voice chat. It's been tragic. It's been painful. It has been a boneheaded move. Like... I've, I've been smashing my head against a brick wall trying to understand this because here's the thing. I say to them, if they can explain to me how this is not a pyramid scheme and how the flow of cash through the business works, I will take it back. I will make a video saying I was wrong. So far, everyone has explained to me that this is a pyramid scheme while saying it's not. ...or super old information. Like sometimes five months isn't that much and nothing really happens within five months. But with Earth 2, a lot of things happen. So you can't really... Oh my god, I came to this video when it was first posted. I did not realize how, how much, how many dislikes this had. They use videos that are months old. Earth 2 has experienced a thing called hypergrowth, where they went absolutely nuts for like, I think, a month, maybe six weeks. <laughs> yeah, so they went nuts for a month or six weeks, you know, just randomly. Um... That's because they advertised. If you advertise and don't expect growth, why are you advertising? There's, there's no point using their growth as an excuse for why this looks like a scam. That's not what we're questioning. But while we're on this topic of advertising, all these people are claiming that, oh, 20%, including the CEO of the company, oh, 20% boost in revenue. Thanks for all your videos, guys. You're really promoting us. No. Big Fry put a tweet out pointing out something that I had literally been looking into hours prior to this. Their advertisements 
they started a huge campaign to advertise on the 28th, mere days after these critical videos came out criticizing this as a scam. So do you know why they do that? Because surely the way to counter negative publicity isn't by just putting your name out there, it's by getting positive publicity out. If there's a mass exodus of people suddenly realizing, okay, this is a scam, I'm pulling out, it'll be a domino effect, it'll be a waterfall effect. People will start to realize my property value is going down, my income's going down, so I'm also going to pull out. It's quite clear that this is run its course. So what they do instead is they will advertise to get a huge injection of people coming in to negate the effects of people having a mass exodus. And th what they did is they overcompensated. They over advertised and now they've got like a huge boost in people coming in, which makes no sense because you were just saying that hyper growth was the downfall of your company, yet you're going to advertise. So which one is it? It, it doesn't make sense because you over advertised. In like December and uh, most of January, it went absolutely bananas. It went from like 50 cents a tile for a United States tile up to like $59 now. And people are still buying stuff and they still are today. For example, I sold. Fucking miracle. Don't ask me why. It's a fucking miracle. 300 tiles in Manhattan for $10,000. And I only bought it for $500 three weeks before that. And I know people are thinking that, yeah, but how much is that $10,000 worth? All right, we know how much it's worth, 10000 you're going to tell us. Like, I sold it Good. for $10,000. Yeah. I pulled it out for $10,000, and it arrived cool. in my bank account. Real money, $10,000. I would be interested to see a video of this guy pulling all of his funds out. I guarantee if he tries to pull all his funds out, there's going to be a mysterious issue. <laughs> right. And, and this is kind of the, the whole fallacy around a scam and a pyramid scheme. Yes, the people at the top make money. That's why it's a pyramid scheme. The higher up the pyramid, the more money you make. The lower down you are, you make nothing. In fact, you lose money. Your initial investment will go towards the people at the top. It, it's not a hard concept. Whether this guy's playing dumb or he fully understands that he's part of the top, you know, the upper echelon of a pyramid scheme. Wait, right now. I know that sounds a little crazy right now, but I'm just sharing you my story and what's actually happening. With just notice something on that. Refund from Earth version 2. I don't know if that's just like a conventional naming scheme in America, but a bit weird that it says refund. Crazy right now, but I'm just sharing you my story and what's actually happening with me and this community and Earth 2. Like I said, I put 50 grand into Earth 2. Yeah, well done you, Mug. Which added to 50 grand, which was selling tiles and then reinvesting it back into Earth 2. And which is exactly what they want you to do. Anyone who makes money off of this, they, they've got this mindset that you could buy more tiles though, and then you could be making more land income tax, which is the pyramid scheme element of this for those who haven't realized. Land income tax, or LIT, which is you get paid just for having land in that country. So if you buy land, if somebody buy land after you or something. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me go back here. This guy is about to explain to you why this isn't a pyramid scheme scam. Are you ready? Which is, you get paid just for having land in that country. So if you buy land, if somebody buy land after you or something, you get a portion of that as like land income tax. So if nobody buys, then you don't get any money. But people are always like injecting more money into this. So you're constantly getting this like passive income. Which is a pyramid scheme! Oh my days! If the guy at the top is telling you it's a pyramid scheme, it is a pyramid scheme. I made like $150 like overnight when I was sleeping. Just, just in real money and landing. And here's the thing. This guy is going to push and push and push the fact that he's making lots of money. And it, there's no chances though that he's, going to use, that he's going to give you his referral code. There's no chance that he's going to do that. Income tax. And then the referral system. For anybody who oh, buys for... with your code, you get 5% off and they get... So if you want to jump into this, if you're new and you're not in Earth 2 already, just use this code right here at towards. Right. Of course, the guy telling you it's not a scam is going to give you his referral code immediately after. And then, ladies and gents, we have this absolute abomination. I don't even know what to call this, but this is British 
guy Dork Slayer. Essence is live in Earth 2. It's all about the resources. Just to confirm, Essence, their cryptocurrency, isn't live in Earth 2. This video is complete clickbait. But that's not what interested me. Just, just watch. I'm going to drop this video in. Of course, it's going to be a long one. So to hack you all up, to get you into the mood, I have the one, the only, Mr. Pink back to introduce the next clip. Take it away, Mr. Pink. <laughs> What the fuck am I watching? What? What on? Earth? I don't know if if these videos promoting. By the way, this guy's promoting like world domination in in Earth Two because of the amount of like land they own and that their 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 guild whatever is is buying up all the land and. Is your mind blown yet? It certainly fucking is. It should be. I don't know what the rest of you've been doing while Dorkslayer has been out there mining away, getting ready for phase two. But hey, come to think of it, I did have a sneak peek. I managed to send in some spies and found the Alpha Kingdom ring and SHP meeting going on. Here, let me play some of this out clip to end the video. The meetings of the other guilds. What on earth? What on earth too is going on? These guys are absolutely cheese and crackers. What? Nuts. <laughs> Our Patreon list is growing bigger and bigger by the week and I just want to say a massive thank you to Cassius and Zane for being top tier supporters. All of you have made a huge difference over the last month and I really can't thank you enough.